welcome back or welcome to my channel. So we have a very, very fun day planned. It is a Sunday and my only plans are I'm going to go to the library just because I don't want to spend too much money on books, but there's a few books that I want and I'm hoping the library has them. And then I'm going to go to a bookshop. So if the library doesn't have what I'm looking for, I might go into a bookshop. I'm not going to spend too much money. I think I'm just going to get myself one book. I have a list. Let me just see. The first one I want is the Renegade series. Just the first book in that series, of course. I think it's like a superhero sort of action book, which is not normally my cup of tea, but a lot of the booktubers that I love have loved that book. So I want to give it a go just to see what it's about. And I think I actually would enjoy it. It seems like a really fun sort of adventurous book to read. And then the second book I want is One Dark Window. I think it's like a gothic sort of fantasy book. And I really do love a gothic dark kind of setting. Like I love the visualization of it. So if they have that one, that's the one that I want the most. So if they have that one, I'm going to buy it because I've been wanting it for ages. Okay, outfit check. I've got on these green sort of checkered pants. Got my trusty Converse. Just like a little brown sort of one shoulder singlet top. Jewelry, I've got on this little turquoise ring, my engagement ring. And then I've got on my angel number necklace, so 444. This is the one that I always see. And then like a little evil eye necklace. So. That's the fit for the day. It's super hot today, but sometimes the bookshop or the library can be kind of chilly. So I've got my green little knit cardigan, little tote bag, and some lip products, because I'm just a girl at the end of the day. Luckily for me, the library and the bookshop and the coffee shop are all like a 20 minute walk from my house. So that is the best news for me. I am a walking girly. Any chance or any excuse I have to walk anywhere, I'm gonna do it. Because one thing I love is I love to put on music and daydream. Like it is my favorite hobby, favorite pastime. <laughs> I've got my playlist ready. I've got two playlists that I'm currently listening to. It's the Slow Burn Enemies to Lovers playlist on Spotify by Kalia Jo. It's got this photo. Every song on here is mwah. But I think I'm going to be listening to Noah Kahan today. I'm just obsessed with his music at the minute. successful trip to the library and to the bookshop. So I ended up getting four books in total. I got two from the library and two from the bookshop. I did tell myself I was only going to buy one book, um, but I have no self-control and I would have actually bought 20 if I could, but it's not the time for it. Okay. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is to go to the bookshop when like almost every book that is on your TBR is at the bookshop? That's what happened to me today. It was very difficult, but I'm very, very happy with the two choices that I got. Ah! <laughs> and also I got two really cute books at the library. 
books that I would be kind of scared to buy in case I don't love them. And that's what I love about the library is you can get books that you're like kind of apprehensive about. You think you'll like them, but you're not, you're just not too sure. I'll start off with the two books that I got from the bookshop. So I ended up getting the one that I really, really wanted. And that is One Dark Window by Rachel Gillig. Oh, I really love this cover. Like I love how misty and eerie it looks. Like there's a castle and she's in a red dress and there's like this mist coming off it. When I went to Edinburgh about a year ago, it was like a really cloudy morning and we were walking through like Edinburgh Castle and I think I saw a crow. Like it was so misty and eerie and I was like, oh my God, this is my setting. It's just so, mm, love it. So this book, I don't even know if I understand the premise of it. I think I do, but it definitely doesn't sound like anything I've read before. So I've got no idea. From my understanding, our main character, she meets a mysterious person on like this forest road, it says. And then she is thrust into a world of shadow and deception. Together they embark on a dangerous quest to cure the town of Blunder. So from my understanding, Blunder is like this kingdom. It's a really eerie sort of misty kingdom. So they want to cure the town and the kingdom from the dark magic that is infecting it. As the stakes heighten and their undeniable attraction intensifies, Elspeth, which is an odd name, Elspeth, she's our main girl, <laughs> she is forced to face her darkest secret yet. The nightmare is slowly and darkly taking over her mind and she might not be able to stop him. And it's saying here that the nightmare is like a spirit that's trapped in her head and he protects her and he keeps her secrets. So does she have some sort of like relationship with this spirit that's in her head? I don't know. What a like an interesting concept though. I've never read anything like it before. And it's sort of like a dark gothic fantasy. I think enemies to love her. I've got no idea, but I cannot wait to read it. It sounds so, so fascinating and definitely very unique because sometimes fantasy romance can kind of follow very similar ideas. So I don't know, this one sounds so good. Then the next book I got, oh my god, I'm obsessed with this cover. It is My Dark Romeo. And I think this is written by two people, by Parker S. Huntington and LJ Shen. Yeah, I think it's two authors. But you guys, look at this cover. The Renaissance art on it, like I just think it is so beautiful. Ooh, they're both dark. So this is One Dark Window and this is My Dark Romeo. Wow, I was really like in a dark mood today, apparently. Okay. When I read the back of it today, I immediately had to get it. I had to. So It says, some Romeos deserve to die. It was supposed to be a harmless kiss, a moment with a handsome stranger. But unlike his name, my Romeo isn't driven by love. He's fueled by revenge. Mm. So to him, I'm just a chess piece. But to me, he is a man deserving of poison a dark prince that I refuse to marry. Is this like an arranged marriage? I think it's like, I think this is arranged marriage trope enemies to lovers. I'm not sure, but I am so excited. Oh, you guys, I cannot wait. I honestly, I cannot wait to read this book. Holy. So yeah, those are the two books I got from the bookshop. I love them so much. I love to buy books with pretty covers like that. I am a sucker for it. Okay, moving on to the two books that I got from the library. They also have very, very cute covers. The first one is The Book Club Hotel by Sarah Morgan. I think I saw Hayley Pham talking about this book or maybe she read it, I can't remember. But it just sounds like a really, really lovely setting. Like a really cozy sort of setting. It's my summer over here in New Zealand, but I just love winter and I love to be in winter, in the winter mindset, okay? I'm very cozy and winter is just cozy. So, this is set in Vermont, like in a really snowy Vermont sort of place. Um, and it's at a hotel called the Maple Sugar Inn. That just sounds so cute. Um, it's like a little boutique hotel. And the owner of this hotel, she is a widower. So unfortunately she lost her husband very young and so she's just sort of struggling trying to make it through the festive period um, and then one day three best friends check into her hotel to host their little girlfriend's book club sort of event 
Um, and what happens is the owner, Hattie, she somehow forms a relationship or like a friendship with these three girls. And apparently it's a book about the love of books, the power of female friendships, um, and just sort of things like that. That's kind of what I'm getting from it. It seems like such a cozy read, like the setting, the love of books. I love to read any book about book lovers. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just, it's all so cozy. So I'm really, really, really excited to read this one. And then the last book I got, I've never heard of it before, but it's meant to be a cozy small town romance, which just sounds so nice. And it is called Of Literature and Lattes by Catherine Ray. How cute is this? Like you guys, the cover has my two favorite things in the world, coffee and books. If you watch this channel, you kind of see that all I do is drink coffee and read books. So when I saw this book, I knew I had to read it. Saying that it's set in a really cozy and delightful small town called Winsome, where two people discover the grace of letting go and the joy found in unexpected change. So there's two people, there's Alyssa and Jeremy. So they both come from bigger places. She is from the Silicon Valley um, in San Francisco and Jeremy is from Seattle. So they both moved to this small little town and Jeremy, the main guy, Jeremy, Jeremy, <laughs> the main guy, he, he's always had a dream of opening up his own coffee shop. So that is what he does. And he, I think he hires Alyssa to help him open up this coffee shop and they have like sort of an instant connection. Um, I don't know. It just says that this is a small town, charming romance with quirky characters and I don't know. It just sounds really, really interesting. I've never heard of it before, so I will read it and I will let you guys know if it's good. So I, hope, I really hope it is because it just looks so cute. Oh, I'm so excited. Well, the books I got sort of follow similar themes. So like these two books are both like very cozy, comforting kind of books. And then these two books are a bit more like dark kind of enemies to lovers. Mm. This kind of fits both of my personalities, so fantastic. And that is all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!